Well, hi there, everybody, and good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. Here we've got uh, more storm spotter classes going on later on today. In fact, kind of a busy week here when it comes to a lot of these classes going on. The Hastings National Weather Service has two simultaneous classes at 6.30 this evening in Merritt County and Polk County. Those take place at the Palmer Fire Station and the Osceola Fire Station. And then the North Platte National Weather Service will be uh, in Garfield County for the Bur or in Burwell for the Garfield County class. And that's at the Junior Senior High School starting at 7 o'clock. And as always, I would encourage you to attend if you're in the area get some great information about an hour and a half long maybe learn how to help out the uh, National Weather Service with some storm spotting as we get into severe weather season no severe weather expected for today but maybe some storms late this afternoon into tonight otherwise a uh, kind of a quiet day for most of us with partly sunny maybe mostly cloudy skies but fairly warm enjoy it because it's the last warm day for about a week as we head into tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms start to make their way through, starting in the northwest and then working their way eastward here. So we'll have that chance through the overnight hours. Before midnight in the Tri-Cities is the better chance after midnight to the east. Uh, behind a cold front that comes through later in the night, breezy if not windy conditions. And cooler air settles in for your day on Tuesday. That said, we're still looking at above average highs in the 50s to lower 60s. And a few scattered sprinkles or light rain showers still not out of the question during your day on Tuesday. Looking at your highs for today, mid 70s up north, small chance of a late day thunder shower, especially up towards the Ainsworth area. Out towards the west, we're looking at highs topping out mostly in the mid 70s, maybe a late day thunder shower there in Ogallala, North Platte, maybe even Imperial. To the south, mid 70s, maybe upper 70s in northern Kansas, partly sunny skies. And to the east, we're looking at partly cloudy skies out there with temperatures in the mid 70s, maybe some early day fog in a few locations. The rest of your forecast these next seven days, again, a cooling trend through the week ahead of us here. After tonight's rain chance, the chances are very low the rest of the next seven days. A small chance of rain during the day tomorrow, some sprinkles on Wednesday evening here. Temperatures continue to drop off through the rest of the week. Windy conditions, especially Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Now for Friday, I've kept the Tri-Cities dry. Small chance of rain, maybe some snow down in northern Kansas here. Uh, but again, for the Tri-Cities right now, I think it will remain on the dry side. Saturday, I did keep in a small chance of light rain and maybe a mix of some snow out there, so it still remains a little on the chilly side. Warmer conditions for that first day of spring on Sunday, back into the upper 50s to near 60 degrees, and signs are that we are going to be well into the 60s, if not 70s, as we move into the early parts of next week. So again, we got to wait about a week after today. But still, it doesn't look like it'll be that bad. Even our cool down, it's only a little bit below average for this time of the year. So there you go. There is your forecast for the next seven days ahead of us as we wrap up the final few days of winter and move on to spring. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great Monday.